Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to discuss about the basic differences between artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and data science. Probably you have heard about these terms and many people still have a confusion. What is the exact differences between them? So in this video, I'm going to cover the entire differences so that you will never have any kind of confusion. So let's begin. The first thing is that let's consider the entire universe. You know, let's say there is a universe with respect to in this specific field. And I really want to talk about this specific universe and let's call this universe as AI. Okay. So this universe is basically called as AI. Now, if I really want to understand the definition of AI, it is basically to create an application to create an application which can perform which can perform its own task its own task without any human intervention okay without without any human intervention any human intervention so this is the basic definition of artificial intelligence okay so this specific thing which I have actually written it over here. It is basically to create an AI application which can perform its own task without any human intervention. So for this specific thing, we call it as artificial intelligence application. Some of the coolest example which you basically use on to day to day basis, right? So the first example that I would like to talk about Netflix recommendation system. Now, whenever I talk about Netflix recommendation system, over here, you will be seeing that, you know, suppose let's say you have seen some kind of action movies, right? Now, whenever you see some kind of action movies for a couple of time, then after that, you get a recommendation of action movies only. Okay. You get a recommendation movies, a recommendation for action movies. So this is one specific example with respect to the recommendation, you know, one super very simple example whenever we see in this kind of situations. The second example, and again, Netflix has an AI module, which will specifically do this recommendation system. And it does not require any human intervention. Human will keep on clicking different, different movies. Automatically, those applications will be able to understand what is the next thing that we must actually recommend to the person. Coming to the next example, self-driving car. I hope many of you have actually seen this self-driving car. So in self-driving car also, there is a specific AI module, which in turn will actually help the car to be driven by itself without any human intervention also over there. It will be automatically be able to detect the traffic lights. It will be able to detect the objects that is coming in front of them. How it is possible? It is basically an AI module is integrated in that specific car. So these are some of the examples, even in Amazon.in, if you probably go and do some kind of shopping there also, you get some kind of amazing recommendation system. Now coming to the next one, I hope we are very much clear with artificial intelligence. Now let's go ahead and let's discuss about the next one, which is basically called as machine learning. So if I talk about machine learning, I can definitely say machine learning is a subset of AI. Okay. Let me make this circle a little bit bigger and machine learning will be falling somewhere inside this, which can be also called as it is a subset of AI. So this specific thing, we basically talk about machine learning. Now, what does machine learning is? It provides stats tool. It provides stats tool, stats tools to analyze the data, analyze, visualize, do some kind of prediction or forecasting. I'll not say or because forecasting can also be one type of functionality within this. It can also forecast the specific data. So here, with the help of various stats tools, which we also say it as machine learning algorithms, which we are probably going to see in this specific course, it utilizes all those things to analyze the data, visualize the data, to do some kind of predictions, to do some kind of forecasting of those specific data, right? That is what machine learning is all about. And it is a subset of AI, right? At the end of the day, whether you work as a machine learning engineer, as a, whether you work as a data scientist, at the end of the day, you will be creating an AI application. Okay. Now, similarly, 
where does deep learning fall into it then right so let's talk about deep learning so deep learning is another specific thing which is a subset of machine learning so this is specifically deep learning let's say i'm writing it out over here deep learning now in 1950s scientists thought that whether you know we uh human beings can train the machine like uh you know the scientists were thinking something much amazing during 1950s can we train the machine also like how we human being get trained right like suppose if we are learning something how do we learn those specific things right so can we also make the machine learn in a similar way like how we human being learn so for that in short deep learning was basically getting implemented to mimic the human brain okay and here the main aim again let me repeat it it was very simple we really wanted to make the machine learn how like how we human being uh, usually learn things right so for this uh, the implementation deep learning was implemented and they used something called as multi layered neural network okay multi layered neural network and with the help of this multi layered neural network we were able to make the application learn like how we human being learn specific things so deep learning is again a subset of machine learning okay but again at the end of the day even though you are working as a deep learning developer uh, at the end of the day you try to create an ai application and uh, that specific application will be able to perform its own task without any human intervention now coming to the next one which is data science right where does data science fall into in this specific universe where does it fall right now as a data scientist always remember you know you we we like i have been working for somewhere around 7 to 8 years right in various industries in product based companies service based companies right as a data scientist and as a data scientist you should remember that okay data scientists will probably overlap each and everything over here let's say they will be overlapping each and everything why i'm saying overlapping each and everything because tomorrow if you are probably given a machine learning project you really need to know you need need to know machine learning probably tomorrow you are given a deep learning project you really need to know deep learning projects at the end of the day you should also be knowing how to create an ai application and over here you really need to use math statistics and many more things that is the reason why i have actually created this circle making sure that it overlaps each and every sector right even machine learning deep learning and finally the ai part right so this part is basically the data science in short data science utilizes uh, or is used in every sector of this and over here again some more overlapping will be doing with respect to different different techniques or tools or subjects that we use like maths linear algebra stats tools and all okay but in short here i have given you the basic difference between ai versus machine learning versus deep learning versus data science i hope you have understood in short tomorrow if you are working as a data scientist you may be given a task that may be related to just eda feature engineering it may be related to task that may be related to deep learning or it may be related to creating any kind of ai application okay at the end of the day any role that you fit in within the specific uh divisions that i have actually made you have to really create an ai application at the end of the day uh so yes in the next video we are going to continue and understand about what is the differences between supervised and unsupervised machine learning okay which is a very important thing in both machine learning and deep learning so yes let's continue the next video